How quiet, or in fact, perhaps how noisy are heat pumps? Modern heat pumps, popular heat pumps, heat pumps that are being installed up and down the UK, all over the place. Now, in my previous video, there were loads and loads of comments. Some of them were controversial. Some were against heat pumps being noisy. Some thought they were quiet. But this comment from Bill Hayward um, just struck a chord with me. What are the high, quietest heat pumps on the market? Now, off the top of my head, I would have told you it was a Bosch 5800. As just a, a casual observer who watches some of the chat, um, that seems to be the go-to one. But I thought I'd do a quick desktop study and share my results with you. So all of the models listed here have been tested to BSEN12102. At the end of my findings, I'll comment a little bit on that standard and why it may be slightly flawed, but let's jump straight in and I want to jump in with my own Valent heat pump. It's the 7 kilowatt Valent Aerotherm Plus. It's known as being one of the quieter ones. <clears throat> EN12102 uh, with a 45 degree water temp, which is mine when it's space heating, 53 decibels if it's doing hot water then perhaps a bit louder but 53 decibels seems to be the one that is commonly used for the noise assessment okay so let's pop that on our leaderboard and that comes out in fourth place of the sample that i selected today so what have we got next era ira era i say era but someone told me it's meant to be pronounced ira recently i don't know let me know what you think um scandinavian company of course theirs comes in at 51.3 decibels as you can see down there on the bottom right and that has a little annotation measured from a distance of three meters none of the other units stipulate that okay so that brings era into a firm second place on my leaderboard what we got next samsung gen 7 r290 one of their newer units and from what i understand a big upgrade in the sound level performance compared to some of the older ones but still that being said the eight kilowatt unit which is the equivalent size that we're looking at here 59 decibels not very impressive samsung let's pop you on the leaderboard and you come second from last not that's greater result for samsung okay what have we got next sorry i'm trying to keep this nice and snappy for you today not too much waffle this is a mitsubishi eco dan eight kilowatts this is the r290 so this is the newer version of the eco dan and you can see once again eight kilowatts there and the sound data is towards the bottom here and you can see this one is at 58 decibels a lot of people say that the sound of a uh, eco dan is very very quiet and they don't have any problems with it but once again we have to pop it on there as one of the louder units okay let's keep moving forward okay now we're into the world of daikin now daikin has got loads of various heat pumps i just picked the one that i think is the most common the one that i see that is being installed a lot i know it's kind of been superseded now but this is the altherma 3m so if we look at the eight kilowatt units 62 decibels it's not one of the quieter units and i know that daikin fails a lot of the noise assessments and then the installers are having to opt for more expensive units to pass the noise assessments in many properties. So Daikin, you come in as a dead last in this case. Cozy 9 and Cozy 6. It's actually, there's a Cozy 9 that is uh, installed the other end of my village and it's literally on a path right next to the kids' play park. So we walk past there. And it seems to be running all the time. Even in the summer, I, I don't know what is going on. I need to knock on that owner's door when there's actually a car in the driveway and see how they've got it configured. It seems to be running all the time and running flat out. And even in the middle of the summer, it's noisy. So I don't know what is going on there. But 56 decibels is what it says on their data sheet. So we will take it at face value, even though I know that one of the biggest complaints with the cozy heat pumps is they're not reaching the advertised cops and they are not as not, uh, not as quiet as many of the other heat pumps. There's a lot of complaints about the cozy heat pumps. Anyway, uh, for what it's worth, the cozy, based on the data sheet, comes in there, a nice sixth place. 
Is that one, two, three, four, five, six? Yes, I did get that right. Phew. Okay. Um, and um, what did we, there were no stipulations of that. Okay. The Grant Arona 290. Okay. Grant seems to be a fairly commonly installed uh, unit in the UK. You can't quite see the model number on the right hand side because my big head is in the way. But this is their equivalent. It's actually rated as a nine kilowatt unit. Um, but it seems to be the closest in line with mostly all the other eight kilowatt units that we've selected. Um, and sound power level on that one, not too shabby, Grant. 54 decibels. And uh, that gets Grant a solid fifth place mid-table on the pack. Okay, Bosch, um, you might have expected it if you've... Uh, been looking in this area and trying to figure it out for yourself i like that bosch made it very uh simple i'm not always a big fan of these er erp are they erp labels energy performance labels i don't know whatever they're called um sometimes i just think they're over simplistic but for the sound power level it is a real quick and easy way to spot the difference between heat pumps that being said a lot of them, a lot of the heat pump manufacturers don't publish this. Um, they they only reserve that label to stick on the actual product. So you have to rely on the actual data sheet, which you can see there in the bottom right hand corner, 42 decibels, which is staggering. It is ridiculously quiet compared to the other units. Yes, it's slightly lower output. It is the lowest output of all of the units here. Um, but that being said, I mean, it's not just a small difference. You know, we're talking 10 decibels up until the next competitor. <coughs> okay, what have we got now? A Nibi. Nibi seem to be really well regarded. A lot of people who seem to be really in the know and um, really experienced, clued up installers, they seem to really rate Nibi. I've listened to a few podcasts, some of the people that work at Nibi and some of the people who have worked with Nibi for a long time. And you only hear glowing reviews. But anyway, this 8 kilowatt unit from Nibi brings us in at 53 decibels. And once again, they do publish the energy performance label. Okay, that completes our table. So I hope I haven't dragged this out too long. Um, you can see that there's a, quite a range there, a 20 decibel range between the Daikin and the Bosch unit. Now, if anyone is out there that's an installer or maybe a homeowner that just observed, with the covers off, any engineers that looked at how the Bosch unit is made and how can they have such a low uh, sound power level, um, I know on some of the units, some of them have had uh, extra bits of foam and um, sound deadening matting, you know, like they're using on car panels. It's like almost like um, it's not bitumen, but it's that sort of lead flashing tape stuff that they put on the inside of the metal panels to stop the metal panels resonating. Um, some of them have enclosures for the compressor so that the compressor is... Uh, you know, acoustically isolated, and then uh, some of the bigger units will benefit from larger diameter fans, which then can spin sl more slowly, so lower revolutions per minute, which will then obviously produce much lower sound power levels. So there's several ways to uh, go about this. There's also apparently there's some yeah, some. Uh, skeptical people talking about different isolation feet and also some of the different flexible hoses that connect on the back of the unit to the rigid pipework mounted to walls normally that some of those things can make differences how big a difference I don't know um, the problem with EN12102 is even if you look at some of the websites of the people who have tested them and you look at some of the documentation of that BS, uh, you know, the British standard, what seems to come out is not necessarily uh, very transparent of exactly how these are tested. We know that they are put in some, of, some sort of an an echoic chamber. I hope I'm pronouncing this stuff correctly. I am not an acoustician or a, a 
acoustic technician um, or anything. I, I'm just a casual enthusiast just trying to observe and learn some of these things. Um, but there, there definitely doesn't seem to be an exact uh, level playing field anyway. And some of the manufacturers seem to publish things. Anyway, what I want to see in the comments today is what heat pump have you got? Do you consider it quiet or noisy? Have you gone around and observed other heat pumps? How do you think they consider uh compare sorry how do you think they compare to yours are you happy are you not happy if you're an installer uh, a heat pump technician engineer installer what are you installing what are your go-to heat pumps and um, which are the ones that you turn to when you need to try and pass a difficult noise assessment thank you as always for watching and i hope to uh, learn more from you great viewers in the comments thanks everyone goodbye